the new channel. The new channel. Hashtag TNC Now. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following shows are those of the host, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to the new channel. Our passion transforms community that sees all things new. I am Carlo Davila and I am streaming from Tagaytay City. Hi, uh, good morning everybody. I'm Kathy Solitz Davila and I'm streaming live from Alabang City. Good morning to everybody. How are you doing? This is actually... Um, the first um, season of Breakfast with the King, and we are just on our episode two here on the new channel. Thank you for being with us today. Purposeful living. So for our episode today, we have this um, segment, which is Serenading the King. And we have with us a dear friend. So she's actually a family friend. Um, ano siya, um, I grew up with her. She is a supply chain professional now. no, And she is um, a doctor or has a PhD in leadership studies, major in business leadership. Please welcome Ms. Ange Manzano Cataluna to Serenade the King. Hi, viewers. Good morning. I'm Ange, and thank you for inviting me for today's episode. I'll be sharing a prayer song. Um, this is something that I've learned since I think I was nine years old, and um, at that time, of course, I've been saying it because I like the melody. Um, I love Sandy Patty. But a few years ago, this song had a different effect on me. I've lost some friends and loved ones due to COVID. And this song gave me a reminder and encouragement that we should not worry about things that are happening on earth because at the end of the day what matters is our eternal life what lies ahead after this life on earth so 
this song is from Sandy Patty. It's called When the Time Comes. And I also would like to thank my brother Arnold for the beautiful rendition um, so that we will have this worship song today. So here we go. Cleanse me, O Lord, of all my silly saturates. How I want to be all and only yours. And take away the clutter in my life every day. And make me like a child. And play. Give me joy. I love to laugh and cry with you. You've become a friend with me all the time. Help me to be patient as I watch and as I pray. Growing in your love each day. Lord, show me the way. Because when the time comes, I want him to know me. And when the time comes, I want to be there. And when the time comes, I want to be ready. When Jesus comes to take me. And when my Jesus comes to take me, take me Thank you so wow. much, and such a beautiful song, Carlo. I'm quite familiar with that song because I grew up hearing the songs of Sandy Patty. Um, yun mga what? Yun yung mga ano eh, uh, songs that you'd listen to during those those times. No, sila yung mga wala pang mga hill songs. Uh, hindi pa uso nun, So, but sina Sandy Patty yan yung mga pinapakinggan namin noon. Anyway, yeah. so. Yeah. yung pagkakanta niya, it's very, it was very moving. Uh, I, I was really, I, I, I was really blessed uh, hearing it. Thank you, Ange. And um, for those who are tuning in for the first time here on Breakfast with the King, um, that's our dog, no? <laughs> <laughs> that's our dog barking. <laughs> um, so that's Thea and uh, Sihera. Okay. Anyway, so um, what is Breakfast with the King? Ano ba to? Parang intriguing yung title. So here, Carlo and I. Um, and we believe that the Lord placed this in our hearts no? um, to, to share to everybody that actually reading the Bible is not hard. It's actually easy. So we want to actually promote this type of, um, we, we learned this na rin from um, you know, our walk with the Lord and being connected to our leaders. Um, they taught us this method of reading the Bible. And kami tuwang tuwa kami, so that's why we're sharing it to everybody. So Carlo will share that with you naman this time. Okay. Um, alam naman natin it's very important to communicate with the Lord on a daily basis because uh, ang buhay, maraming dalang mga challenges, you know. Um, everything, no? Trabaho, uh, emotional challenge, sometimes health challenge. And uh, communication, staying in touch with the Lord is very important. 
And that's the reason why, yun yung show natin, no? it's about regular people sharing their devotions. And let me share to you a technique, no? That, uh, so that when you make your, your devotion no, to the Lord, uh, uh, kumbaga, uh, it will be very meaningful. At saka ma-absorb niyo mabuti yung word niya. Uh, here, it is called SOAP or SOAP. Can we show the... So it is um, um, acrostics, no? Um, may meaning yung bawat letter dyan. So, Carlos, sige. Ayan. I'll browse through this very quickly, no? Uh, first, you start with the scripture, no? So, pipili ka ng scripture sa Bible. And then after that, you do your observation. Observation means uh, how do you interpret the scripture that you chose? Uh, syempre, uh, we use our intelligence no, in uh, you know, interpreting it, but it is most important that you interpret it by the Spirit. You so, ask the um, Holy Spirit to guide you um, yes. as you read the Bible. Hindi lang yung um, parang personal interpretation, but you really ano, dig deep um, and um, ask the Holy Spirit to interpret it for you. Yeah. Uh, and then after that... Um, you do the application already, no? Uh, A stands for application. Um, kasi, uh, what use is it, no? Uh, reading the Bible or understanding the Bible if we are not applying it to our life? Um, if we fail to apply it to our life, um, we will miss out in a lot, no? Uh, the blessings of the Lord, His promise for joy, peace, uh, and wisdom, uh, our purpose in life, hindi natin malalaman. Um, so, um, it, kaya importante, no? Uh, scripture, observation, and then after application. And then, syempre, you close it with a prayer. Mas maganda if you um, can journal that, kung um, kahit sa phone nyo, or you know, your notebook. So, yeah, maganda if you make it you know, like your time with the Lord talaga. And uh, parang nagda-diary ka and as you converse with the Lord. And today, we have this special guest with us um, who will share her personal soap. And uh, we know that uh, we will all learn from her. We can, you will be able to relate with her sharing um, with us this morning. So, Carlo, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me introduce to you our guest. No? She is currently the development manager, management officer in the city of Tagbilaran, former segment producer in ABS-CBN News and Current Affairs, former missionary in Cambodia. She is married and a mother of three kids. Kathy? Can... Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Janet, Lila. Hello, Janet. Busano. I forgot. Ah, good morning. Uh, <laughs> good morning, Janet. It's good to see you. So, Janet, um, Carlo is uh, no, my friend from the ABS-CBN Fellowship. Uh, mm, before, hi. yeah, when uh, there was a time when kami tatlo nila, Lita Teodosio, kami yung tatlong ano, uh, very active nun in leading that. We're part of the core group of the abs cbn Fellowship. So I'm wow. so happy to see her again, kahit virtually, kasi she lives in ano na, Tagbilara na. So yeah, and thank you for being here. So Janet. how are you, Janet, this morning? Fine and good. <laughs> I'm feeling ex excited to share my devotion. So, ah, that's great. Yes. That's great. Good. So Janet, uh, you are now connected with the city government, no? Uh, kamusta naman yung takbo ng, uh, you know, uh, uh, public, uh, you know, public service, pati yan, ang pagkaano nyo sa tagpilaran? Kaya ko sa una, no? Because before, di ba? Okay. I, uh, we work with Kathy, we work in ABS-CBN, very fast-paced, very results-oriented. Pagdating kasi sa government, medyo long-term siya. Tapos medyo we work on sustainability. So, and then, medyo process-oriented siya. So, lagi may consensus. So, hindi lang isang tao nag-decide. So, medyo ang process ng development, medyo mabagal. Pero, hmm. even then, kahit mabagal siya, maganda siya kasi you're always working for the development of 
you are part of yung pag-grow ng city mo. So, I think it's a different challenge. ABS-CBN was a different ballgame. And then ito naman public service. It's also different, but at the same time, fulfilling then. Hmm. Ay, that's good, that's good. So okay. happy to hear that, sis. <coughs> Ibang pinapagawa si Lord sa'yo in this new season of your life. Oh, oh, one more thing that you're involved involved in, no, na matanong ko lang, ano, it, um, you're, you've been also yeah. a missionary in Cambodia. Yes, I was a missionary in Cambodia, Phnom Penh, for two years. Bali, one year sa Phnom Penh, tapos one year, uh, inasign naman ako sa mga far-flung, far-flung, far-flung areas, yung walang oriente, wala yung mga amenities. So it was really uh, talagang faith. It's a faith journey nung time na yun. Naka, it's such a pleasure, no, Kathy, to have uh, Janet here with us. Ano pa, yung us. culture mo, I, I, basta ito, I, I just can't remember, vividly remember, di ba yung culture natin, we have a different culture, and then, i-approve ka, pupunta ka sa Cambodia, different culture, totally different, to, different language, so you just really have to rely. Pag-rely ka lang talaga sa Panginoon, kasi, you know, you don't know how to act, you don't know what to say, how to say it, when to say it, so it's really a faith journey, but it was the best decision that I've made. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Congratulations! Well, Kathy, you know, it, uh, it's a privilege to yeah. guest natin si Janet, no? Kasi if you look at her background, no, yung buhay niya, hmm. it's all about a selfless life. Yeah. Uh, if she is not in Cambodia being a missionary, sharing the gospel, she is uh, working in public service. So it's all about uh, helping other people, no? Um, parang uh, influ- uh, imparting something good to other people. Others directed siya, yeah. Yes. Ganyan si Janet yeah. ever since. Hmm. And yan, mm-hmm. yan exactly ang gagawin natin sa show na to ngayon din. Uh, si Janet will be sharing her devotion. Ito yung scripture na napili ni, ni Janet, no? Ang scripture niya is, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. This was taken from Romans 8, verse 20. Okay, Janet, can you share to us your observation? What is your interpretation of this passage? Thank you, Carlo. Yung verse na to, I keep on reading and rereading this verse. Maliit lang siya, pero it's very impactful. Like, it's very impactful in my life. And I have observed too, no? From that, that small number, number one, kasi diba, number one, it's about things. And then number two, it's about the feeling that, that we have when we are in those things. So una, diba yung mga tao kasi, ako, I, I, I saw in this verse na, Kahit anong pa daw yung things na, whatever things that you are in, you will have that confidence that it will be okay as long as you love God. Kasi di ba, sabi, sabi sa verse, God works for the good, for those who love Him. And in all things, God works for the good. So, sa, sa lahat ng things, no, God works for the good. Tapos second, in all things. So, ibig sabihin, in all things. So, whether those things that you are, whether happy ka, disappointed ka, frustrating yung thing na yun, challenging, talagang discouraging, wala eh. It, it, you, God works for the good. So, kahit nakikita mo siya na pangit siya at the moment, pero, pero ang perspective kasi ni God, di ba, eternal? So, hmm. in the long run, those things that are happened to you, Temporary lang eh. Parang yun yung na-observe ko dun sa verse na yun. O nga no, Lord, no? In all things, you work for the good. So, hindi ako dapat maratal dito. You work for the good. Ultimately, it's all part of your game plan. And ultimately, it's all part of your purpose. And ultimately, it is for my best. Kasi nga, actually, dagdag ko lang, no? Kapag nag-move ka pa later sa verse, nandun din yung verse na... For God did not spare His own Son. So kung hindi niya nga daw in-spare yung own Son sa atin, meron pa ba, ba siyang hindi ibibigay? Ibinigay niya nga yung isa niyang anak eh. So meron pa ba bang hindi siya ibibigay? Kung yung kaisa-isa niyang beloved Son binigay niya, 
So definitely, ang logic talaga, He will give you all things according lang talaga sa purpose niya. So, doon ako na-realize ko talaga na yun, whatever happens to me, whether talagang sobrang sad in him, basta trust in God, all things are according to His plan, as long as you love Him and you do what according to what the will is, no? according sa Bible. Basta you do yeah. the things that are in accordance with His will and you love Him, just re- nothing, nothing will happen bad to you. Parang yan yung na-observe. I like what you said, no, that um, in number two, um, what you wrote here, um, your situation is temporary. Um, kasi God is just working dun sa backstage, no? May mga inaayos siya. Hindi lang sa sitwasyon, pati sa'yo. And sometimes, God won't bring you out of the situation. He will bring you through the situation because may, ang actually binabago niya ikaw. Hindi niya gusto baguhin yung sitwasyon. Ikaw yung binabago niya. Yeah. So Janet, no. Um uh, uh kumbaga yung ano mo yung uh, scripture and uh interpretation mo of that scripture. Uh parang it's all based on faith. Uh parang uh, believing in the Lord, no. And uh nothing bad will happen in life. No. Can you can you mention an instance in your life wherein you pass through something very challenging and yet you believed in the Lord. Now you put your faith in Him and then God saw you through. Ay, ang dami. Para ang dami. Ang dami niyan. Pero siguro isang major na, re, uh, not recently, siguro mga five years ago, tagal na, was, was when my son was diagnosed with autism. Yung youngest son ko, he was diagnosed with autism. And the Diba ikaw, as a mother, ay tayo ba si Cathy or sa bagay si Cathy in the future? Pero most mothers, kapag nagkaroon sila ng anak, ang iniisip talaga nila is the best for their children. And then knowing, no, receiving that diagnosis for my son, na hindi siya, there's a possibility na he, he cannot talk, there's a possibility that he cannot go to school, there's a possibility that he won't live a normal life. Kasi makikita mo talaga sa kanya eh, di ba? No. He was diagnosed ano, when he was 11 months old. So, ikot siya ng ikot. Tapos, ano siya, yung grabe yung tantrums niya. Tapos, he keeps on flapping his hands. Wala siyang eye contact. So, pagka tinignan mo siya, yung tinignan mo siya physically, makita mo parang it's hopeless. Parang, anong future ng batang to na hindi nga maka-eye contact? Hindi maka-comprehend. Para siyang, para siyang bingi. Kasi hindi siya, hindi, yeah. he has his own world eh. Para siyang bingi. Yeah. So, when I received that, tapos, di ba, kinonform ng doctor, Diba? Yung resurgent. Sabi niya, no, he's on, he's on the spectrum. Sabi niya. So, kailangan mo siya ng itong therapy this, therapy that, lahat ng therapy. Tapos, per hour pa yung mga therapy. So, talagang it will cost you a lot of money para yung intervention sa kanya. Yeah, yan yung talaga yung during that time. Tapos ngayon, looking back, that was five, um, eleven, uh, seven years ago, looking back, now? ngayon yung anak ko, kung makita mo. Yung anak ko, makita mo, para wala siya autism. Oh, Grabe wow. siya ka-smart. Oh my gosh. Madaldal. Love the Lord. Loves the Lord. Kasi, and na, kasi very, nag-aaral siya in the regular siya, school. Very articulate. Sabi hindi magsasalita. Sabi hindi pero is very articulate. He can express his opinions well. Yun, ano, siguro late lang yung ano niya. Siguro yung late yung pag-develop niya. Kasi ang dami niyang therapy muna eh. Bago siya na, yeah. na fine-tune. Ang dami therapy. Pero yung prayer ko niya, sabi ko, Lord, Ikaw bahala. Ikaw bahala. You, you give him to me. Pero may purpose ka sa kanya eh. So, ikaw, let, let God be God. Ikaw yung maging Diyos ni Iman. Makikita sa buhay ni, niya yung pagiging Diyos mo. So, ikaw mag-work sa kanya. Inoffer ko talaga siya sa Lord. Sabi ko, bahala ka na pa. Ang Emmanuel nga ang pangalan niya, God is with us. Amen. So, isa Amen. na nga. Pero marami pa, Carla. Marami <laughs> that is such a mi- miraculous story, no? Alam mo, I can relate to that so much. Kasi may pamangkin kami, kilala ni Cathy to, yung anak ni Karen Davila, no? Who is my sister. Has autism. Ta- so, um, alam nyo, i-share ko lang sa inyo, ha? nag-research si Karen. Isa daw probable cause kung bakit maraming bata ngayon may autism. 
dahil sa kadami ng bakuna na pinibigay sa kanila pag baby. Diba? So, ano daw, hindi pa daw kaya ng katawan. Tapos may nare-retain na ano eh. Nakalimutan ko kung ano yun eh. Something, it's a metal, metal ano eh, thing eh. Nare-retain sa body. Tapos yun pwedeng mag-cause ng autism. Pero that is such a miracle. Nag-aaral na siya sa um, normal school. And then you can communicate with him. Parang wala siya autism, Janet. Yes. Nasa mainstream na school na siya. Yay. Wow. He's so cute. Wow. Well, blessed. Oh, we're, we're so blessed with your story. Na, marami, marami. Ano, gaya nung last week, no, um, napag-usapan natin, God didn't promise naman a storm-free life, uh, mm-hmm. pero He promised that He'll be with us. He's our Emmanuel. The God is with us. Diba? He will In deliver end, us. He will deliver us. Amen. So, uh, before we uh, we continue with our discussion, we are already on O. We started with S, yung scripture ni Janet, and now we're with O, so yung observation niya, sabi niya nga, she, she kept on repeating the, she kept on rereading the verses, no, in the yung scripture na pinili niya. And then this is the observation that she got. Um, we Before we continue, uh, babalik tayo with the A, the application, we will just take this commercial break. We'll be back. Puppets face to face with special guests Makata Tawanan, Jess Box, and the Lunaria Marionette Show. Alam mo ni Tulok, kung wala ako, hindi ka magsasalita. Alam mo Tito Anlo, kung wala ako, magsasalita ka nag-isa. <laughs> kung wala ako, wala kang masusuot. Kung wala ako, wala kang nakakain. <laughs> October 30, Sunday, 7 p.m. at the Lavedad Auditorium in Apalit, Pampanga. 
Buy your tickets now and see you soon, face to face. Yes, you are, <laughs> you are watching Breakfast with the King. Welcome back. Um, we are with Janet Laila Busano. Imagine having your own show, your own playlist, your own content, but we make it easier for you. Um, we are Breakfast with the King airing every Saturday morning from 9 till 10. You can watch live or on replay via Facebook or YouTube. Follow us on IG, listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcast. Just search for hashtag TNC now. For sponsorships or other inquiries, please email now at thenewchannel.com or send us a direct message. Enjoy these life-changing shows because we made them just for you. So going back to our discussion... Okay, Kathy, before we proceed, no, uh, let's do a quick recap. Lang, no? In scripture, that then is, I'll read it again. Uh, and we know that all things good, uh, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Romans 8, verse 28. And uh, see, uh, Janet no, shared to us her uh, observation kanina. No? And uh, uh, more or less, ito yung uh, sinasabi sa observation niya. Well, number one, um, as long as you have your confidence now with the Lord, uh, he, He'll get you through and then you get to do your purpose. And then number two, um, it's just by faith, no? Uh, based on her story, uh, meron siyang anak na autistic, pero because of her faith in the Lord, no? Uh, now, her son uh, is uh, functioning like a, 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 a kid, no? who has regular never school. been yeah. autistic. Yes, mm -hmm. that's a regular school, ganyan. So God is faithful, no, Kathy? So, that's uh, right. Yes. So we so welcome ngayon, back. We will welcome back Miss Janet Laila para naman share niya sa atin yung kanyang application. So yung letter A sa SOAP method. So paano ba natin, paano mo ba ito ay na-apply sa buhay mo? So guys, sorry sa mga dogs namin, si Hera and si Yer, they're joining us in the show. <laughs> dogs ata ni Janet yan. <laughs> ah, sa'yo na ba yan? Ah, sa'yo ba? Yeah. <laughs> so sige. Um, uh, going back sa sinabi ni Cathy, you know, kung paano ko na-apply yung verse ng Romans no, sa buhay ko. So yung Romans na verse now, and we we'll him and who are called according to his purpose. Ang application sa buhay ko, it really strengthen my faith. Talagang i-challenge me na yung faith ko talaga i-level up. Kasi it, the verse parang forces you to look beyond the physical. Yung hindi ka magre-rely dun sa nakikita mo. Yung live by faith, not by sight. So, yun din yung, yung dating sa akin ng verse na to na look beyond no, look beyond. Kasi, di ba, most of the time, pag meron tayo, marami tayong plano, we have so many plans in our lives. Ang dami natin, ay, hindi nangyari yung mga in-envision. Kasi tayong parang we get frustrated. Ako ganun eh, we get frustrated. Kasi medyo may pagka-control freak ako. Gusto ko lahat parang according to plan. Dapat ganito, ganito, ganito. Kuleric yung personality ko. So gusto ko talaga mangyari siya sa ganitong, ganitong gusto, ganitong plinano. Pero most of the time, si God, inaalaw niya rin talaga na hindi mangyari yung mga bagay niya eh. Siguro nga, tama yung sabi ni Cathy kanina na talagang inaano niya muna tayo. Pinapa-undergo niya tayo sa situation kasi may tinuturo siya. So yung verse na yan, talagang yan ang nagre-resonate sa akin talaga. Na pag mayroong mga bagay na hindi nangyari according to plan, hindi na dati, na-frustrate ako, or dati parang nade-depress ako. Pero ngayon hindi. I learned to let go. 
I learned to surrender everything na pag hindi nangyari, ang tanong ko na lang, Lord, ikaw na bahala. Ikaw na bahala since you have a purpose for me and then you, I love you naman, Panginoon, mahal kita, ikaw yung talagang sinusundan ko. So kung hindi man to nangyari according to what I envision, then bahala ka na, meron ka sigurong gagawin. This is part, all part of your grand tapestry, no? na isang part ito na kailangan ito kutong madaanan kasi hindi ko mada- mas pupuntaan yung next step kung hindi ko ito dadaanan. So, even though it is painful, even though masakit, even though na-discourage talaga ako, sobra ako nasa sidetrack, uh, Lord, I will I will just trust in you. Babalik at babalik pa rin ako na, siguro for a time, mayroong parang masa sidetrack ka, pero babalik at babalik pa rin ako sa, sa Lord. I remember ito lang kahapon lang. Kasi yung nanay ko, ano na siya, old nine mag-18 na siya. Pero nagkaroon siya ng ano para ng demensya. Yung nakakalibot ay nag-usap kayo. Mamaya tatanungin kanya. Eh bored ex sab nakita kay dinalo ko siya sa bahay nila. Tapos pag nakita kami ngayon mamaya, uy, pati mo na ako dinadala oh. Kasi wala lang kakadalo wala hapon. Tapos meron siya kahanapin bagay. Ito daw dana niya tatago natin dito. Mamaya tatawag din sa akin. Miyak, hindi 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 ko na alam eh kung saan ko natago. Nasaan na ba 'yun? Parang so helpless. Whenever I hear my mother na miyak, na ganyan kasi nakita ko kung gaano siya niyan niyo kami minahal, 'di ba? For the last na ilang taon niya kami nalagaan. Tapos ngayon nakikita ko siya na gaano siya ka-help para siyang bata. Talagang naiiyak ako yung lumu- lumi- nanginilid yung luha ko. Sabi ko, Lord, no bakit ano no? Hindi ko talaga ako. I can't help but ask but ask God kasi sabi ko Lord, yung nanay ko sobrang selfless niyan, sobrang binigyan yung buhay niya sa amin. Pero, hindi, mo, hindi ko talaga maubos may isa bakit na nararanasan yung ganito na parang wala na siyang naaalala. Wala na siyang naaalala. Meron siyang naaalala, certain parts lang selective ka. Very selective. So, nasasaktan ako from my mother. Pero, iniisip ko pa rin, sabi ko, hindi, Lord. Eh. Kasi, um, wala eh. Naman nanay ko, may ganon, marami na Man, marami. So, sabi ko, Lord, ikaw nang bahala. I just pray na, it's a, board again naman ng nanay ko eh, Christian siya. Mm. So, pinapadaan mo kami sa ganito, I don't, Lord, you have a purpose. So, Lord, ang panalangin ko na talaga, as I surrender this to you, Lord, makita ko talaga yung purpose nito. And then, maano ko yung journey talaga, may embrace ko yung journey. And, then I will really get what do you what you want me to get from this hmm. and then in all things Philippians in everything rejoice hmm. now in all things you give thanks in all things you give thanks eh. so hmm. even ganun yung nyari, hmm. I will give thanks. I think that's why the Lord is saying, in all things rejoice. Kasi may assurance nga siya that it will work out eh, mm-hmm. no matter what, di ba? Um, kung baga, I, He promised us that he will, he will sustain us. He will take care of us even in our old age. So, so that's why, yun nga, parang nagtataka rin ako, bakit kaya sinabi ni Lord na, bakit in all things rejoice? Ah, kasi sabi niya, trust me. Um, no, you know, no matter what, because he's going to be there, no matter what, no matter what, kahit anumang pinagdadaanan natin. So yeah. Well, uh, see si Janet. Um, she appears to be a person with a uh, solid faith. faith. Yes, yeah, like solid faith, faith yeah. in the mm-hmm. Lord, no. Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, you. Um, it struck me, and it, it happens to a lot mm. of people. Not, I mean, to everyone, I guess. No, that uh, there are things in life that are difficult, no, um, hurtful things, no, that uh, uh, that happens, no. Mm-hmm. And uh, like, for example, sinasabi ni Janet yung uh, situation dun sa mom niya. and uh, mm-hmm. you know, it's even more painful. Like what she said, my mom, who is very selfless, no. I, I could not understand why she deserves to be in this state. Na may dementia siya, 
And uh, ang kinaganda kay Janet is, you know, we can find ourselves sometimes questioning the Lord. Bakit ginito? Bakit nangyayari sa akin to? Bakit nangyayari to sa mga taong minamahal ko? But uh, si Janet, uh, she is not, it's very easy to give in to that temptation. Um, pero si Janet, hindi siya bumibigay doon. Uh, she stays firm in the Lord. Uh, she just um, surrenders her life and follows His will. And uh, si Lord naman, uh, to anyone he is of, faithful. of listeners, no? yes, He is faithful. Kung may pinagdadaanan kayo na mahi- mahirap no, sa buhay, no? yeah. uh, itatawid tayo ng Diyos. And so, if, if I may share this verse no in Isaiah 41:13 for I the Lord your God holds your right hand your right hand at hawak na tayo sa kamay mm-hmm. it is I who says to you fear not it is I sabi niya ako to <laughs> I am the one who helps you so kung tao lang yung tumutulong sa atin matakot na tayo di ba yeah. <laughs> it's the Lord who's helping us yun yung promise niya sa atin. Faith lang talaga, Kathy. Eh. Yun lang talaga. Eh. So, um, Janet has shared with us her scripture, her observation, her application, and now uh, we'd like to request you, um, we, it's, the soap is ended with a prayer based on your meditation with the Lord. So, um, for those who tuned in, who are friends and family of Janet, thank you, ha, huh? and um, I'm sure she is seeing your comments and your greetings for her. Um, sis, mag-hello ka sa mga ano, nagko-comment sa'yo. You say hi to them. Sa mga kasama mo dyan sa Katagbilaran. Hello! Hello sa mga... I am there! <laughs> there! Okay, so we will... Hello! End, can you um... hear me? Yes, yes, okay na. We can, can hear you, you now. Can you end um yung soup natin soup segment natin with a prayer sis based on our discussion? So sige, let's pray. Let's all pray. Dear God, we give you all the glory and we give you all the honor. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to share your word, O oh God. Lord, we just pray, Lord, that we will always be reminded of this verse that you are working in all things. For the good of those that love you, O oh God, and who are, who are called according to your purpose. Lord, we pray that it will be in our hearts and it will be in our mind, O oh God, that whenever we are in difficult circumstances, Lord, we will not lose hope. We will not lose faith, O oh God. But instead, Lord, we will just trust in you completely and surrender everything to you, O oh God. Lord, we will not struggle with the circumstances, but we will be faithful in doing what you want us to do, O oh God. Lord, help us, O oh God, to have that faith, no? Um, talagang tenacious faith, O oh God, in you, O oh God. Lord, we just give you all the glory and we just give you all the honor. We commit and surrender everything to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. That was Miss Janet Lila Busano. Thank you for being with us. And good morning to you, sis, and your family. God bless you. Thank you, God sis. God bless you. Um, and um, we'd like to, before we end, we'd like to say thank you sa inyong lahat who joined us this morning or maybe afternoon or evening, depending on where you are watching us from. Kasi also, iba-ibang countries, no? this is being um, aired also worldwide. Kasi... We're in the World Wide Web. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> also, Carlo, baka this is being watched on demand, meaning mm. at their own time, wow. at, the, at the time that they're available. So, hello to you. And uh, we'd like to thank the following donors um, for making this show possible, this ministry possible. Um, MFH Church um, Pastor and our friend uh, Bush Alvarez from Detroit, Michigan. Loving God, Helping Others, A House of Prayer for All People. Thank you so much. We'd also like to thank Yasin's um, Skin Care as well as um, Makeup. Thank you. And we'd also like to thank um, Lingap. Lingap provides a range of lodging rentals from vacation homes, residential homes, farm stay to campsites. Lingap aims to be your home away from home. 
With them, you can make the most wonderful memories during your next vacation and travel adventure. And also, thank you to J. Maxi Builders Corporation, a subsidiary construction company of Camelot Development Corporation. It is a family-owned corporation that is engaged in the real estate business since 1967. It has developed a few numbers of buildings and commercial establishments, both for lease and for sale. Uh, CDC Director and General Manager, thank you, Jaime Jasper Lim, and your wife, Christine Lim. Thank you so much. Thank you also to my daily collagen, Sis J. Don. Thank you, and thank you also to the Good Feast for our supply of Adlai rice. Also, we'd like to thank Miss Evelyn Javier of ABS-CBN Fellowship and Sis May Rose Coronel of... Um, CCF, thank you. Thank you so much to all of our donors. Before we end the program, okay. Kathy, I think uh, we should do a takeaway, no? What's your takeaway for tonight's learnings? Um, for me, it's with Janet. She has, ilang years ko yan kasama sa ABS-CBN Fellowship. Um, she's really a woman who has childlike faith. Ganun siya um, in her struggles at work before. May hirap na situation. She worked for the for the news department, um, and your sister worked for the news department as well. It's highly stressful, and um, uh, nakikita ko sa kanya. Of course, she expresses how how she feels, you know. But um, she always ends um, our talk with, "But I trust God completely." So, yan ang gusto gusto ko kay Janet. And um, from our serenading, no, yung kay um, Ange. Um, sabi niya, I want to be ready when I face the Lord, diba? I want to be ready. Um, so, with, with, with having a purposeful life, dapat kasi makikita mo yung purpose mo, you know your why, you ask the Lord, ano ba, what, um, ano ba yung purpose mo for my life? Um, may, there's an awareness of the end of your life, diba? In order for you to have a purposeful life. So, um, paano ba tayo maging ready um, to face you know, death, to face our Creator. And that is actually by knowing the Lord. And how can we know it? It's, it's by reading the Word every day. Through the soap method. That, uh, that's one method. That is nice, Kathy. Um, ako naman, uh, connected din sa sinabi mo, no? ang takeaway ko is, uh, well, ito, sa observation niya, no? she wrote, uh, if you love God, you will have that solid confidence that whatever happens in your life is in accordance with his purpose. Now, when you think about it, no, uh, so, parang sinasabi niya, even if uh, there are, uh, you know, um, challenges in life that comes, sari-sari na to, no? health, health, financial, emotional, uh, conflict, whatever it is, no, that comes in your life, no, if you stay true to God, uh, you will realize his purpose. Now, um, I see Janet to be a person wherein her purpose is in line with God's purpose. Uh, kasi uh, from her background, no? uh, galing nga siyang ABS, pero right now she's a public servant in Tagbilaran. Tapos and before that, she was a missionary in Cambodia. Uh, nabanggit ko kanina na yung mga ginagawa niya are She's involved in selfless endeavors, you know, endeavors in trying to help others, no? uh, in, in, in whatever way, in her capacity. No? And uh, ito, I believe, is the kind of purpose that is meant for all of us. You know, uh, it, it doesn't mean that you have to be working in a church or, or for example, if you are not in working in the government uh, or in an NGO, uh, it doesn't mean uh, um, parang you cannot impart good or impart Goodness. God to other people. You could be in any uh, industry. Uh, you could be in sales. You can you could be working in a bank. You could be in the airline industry. Whatever it is. Uh, ang importante dito is, you know, um, like Janet, no, faith, the way you live your life, um, those that are close to you, they see that God is in you. So therefore, 
God has imparted into their lives. Tapos yan, you do your job in a way that is glorif- uh, glorifying to the Lord. Um, I think, uh, ano yan eh, um, that, can, that is your purpose. Right. So, uh, ang, uh, ang point ko dito is, si Janet, direct siya eh. She's mm. lived her purpose. Tapos yan yung trabaho niya itself is selfless. Pero it doesn't mean na kunyari tayo na nasa secular jobs, mm-hmm. we can be selfless as well. Right. Uh, if that is our purpose. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yun ang ano natin. That's right. Carlos, so thank you so much everybody for joining us. Thank you for um, the song for the King um, Ange um, and um, Janet. And um, we invite you guys to Message us if you want to be part of this show, um, to guest here, to share your devotion, or to render a song for the King. Please let us know. Just write us a message. Um, and uh, we are glad that you are here with us today. Thank you. Um, God bless all of you. This is Breakfast with the King, Saturdays from 9 to 10 a.m. here on the new channel. See you next Bye-bye. week. Bye-bye.